Hey, Brother Sewing and Crafting family, Angela Wolf here. I actually realize I match the banner. That's frightening. <laughs> hey, cheers. Happy Thursday. A nice cup of hot tea today. So I've got an exciting show for you today, but I got in a little trouble. In fact, I got in a lot of trouble because I thought we would do something sewing today, but I have to tell you, I've been playing with the Art Spirit app and let's just say, hmm, I love it when brother gives me new gadgets to play with, but this one is really fun. So instead of sewing, we're going to play with Art Spira. Remember I told you I want to take a photo of that fabric? Did you finish your grocery bag? I hope so. Well, I took a photo of that bag and I spent an hour playing with designs. So you are going to be blown away with this to share. So we're going to play with Art Spirit today. I'll give you some ideas. I will end up printing my own fabric. I'm going to embroider some fabric, but in the meantime, I'll show you how to get it to work for you. So say hi. I see you all rolling in. It is so nice to see you, especially when my cameras are loading and I can already see your comments. So a couple questions for you. I went through social media last night and I saw some fabulous bags. Do you remember what you're supposed to use for that? Hashtag Brother Sews. <laughs> if you use the hashtag Angela Wolf, I see it faster too. So add both of us because we love to see what you're working on. That sew along was so much fun. But I ran out of fabric. So when I mentioned to some of you, I think I'm going to buy some more fabric. They didn't have any. And then I said, I think I'm going to print it. And someone said, can you really do that if it's a licensed fabric? Well, if it's for your own stash, I don't know. I'm not a lawyer. But when you see what I did with this, uh, totally legit. Is there a song about that? Totally legit? Mm-hmm. I think there is. So without further ado, I have a lot to share with you. <laughs> I did not even intend that to rhyme. That, I think, was the cheesiest thing I've ever said. So I have the print moda hooked up. I have the Stellaire embroidery machine hooked up. And I just got out of a rainstorm. So if you're liking the hairdo, hey, <laughs> it's called the raindew. All right. Here is. There's the embroidery machine all set up. Can you guess what the first embroidery design I added to the machine? Just guess. <laughs> I don't have a prize for you if you win, but I'm just curious to know how well you know me. <laughs> Robin says totally. <laughs> Yay, Sandra, you finished yours. Awesome. Oh, by the way, speaking of key fob, uh, last week my friend Janet was here and she makes me these beautiful faux leather key fobs. And she gave me a little tip how to do it with my design center. So we can add that to the list as well today. All right, are you ready? Can you guess? Oh, you guys. Oh, I see it. I see it. Debbie, bingo, bingo. I don't have the squirrel cam up because the, the camera is actually facing the machine. So it was actually a squirrel. I was looking for a fish. I'll show you what it looked like. <laughs> All right, come on over. Uh, so today's going to be a lot of fun. Grab your phone, grab a cup of tea, and just come and watch and play with me. There it is. <laughs> so do you ever wonder how to bring up your design from Art Spira? First of all, I'll take you back to the phone. So I just got a new phone. Let me make sure that the camera is on the right. There we go. So, <laughs> and I don't know how to use it yet. It's not a brother brand, so I won't tell you, but uh, I, I have a couple phones now just because the cameras are so good. And whenever I'm out to something important, I run out of room. So here we go. I have the Art Spirit app open. You can see that okay, right? All right, I'll just sit right next to you then. So on here, I scroll down. Did you see you have all these different options at the top? If you've never been on Art Spira, go ahead and sign up. I signed up, you can sign up with um, a brother account, Gmail, uh, your Canvas account, whatever you want. So it's pretty easy to do. So I went under embroidery designs. And before I even got anywhere to look for a fish, <laughs> look what came up. Oh, that's really cute. Look at the bears with the fish. Oh my gosh, I think these designs are getting cuter and cuter. Okay, that one might have to go on my fish. So I'll send it. So there's the design. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. 
I could change the colors once it goes to my machine. So if I wanted to make the bears a different color, but that brown might look really cute. All right, so click on create. This is really easy. So I, I name my embroidery machines because I have the Stellaire and the Luminaire here. I named this one after my sister. <laughs> hey, Jules, you don't get the machine, but I named it after you. <laughs> Data transfer complete. Okay, so let's go to the machine. That design is so stinking cute. It's a bear eating a fish. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you, this app is so addicting in a good way. All right, click on embroidery on your machine. And then look down here, this little button here. Now, you know, I already sewed my whole bag. So if I use this, I'll have to turn it into an applique or something. Okay, that is adorable. Tells me it's 14 minutes. It's about almost a little less than three inches, which would be perfect. You know, you know the part of the bag we're trying to fill, in case you forgot, in case you're new to the party. Here you go. We're trying to fill this right here. That spot right there. So I think that bear two by two, if I put it right up here in the corner, I think that'd be adorable. What color should we use? I don't know. We'll get to that. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Cheryl. This is going to be a lot of fun. You just can just call this your fun day Thursday because, uh, I had so much fun I had to share with you. All right, head on over to the machine. <laughs> Debbie, I think they are listening. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it is so much fun. Okay, so a, a full disclosure today, just for the record from this point forward for this show, I haven't done anything on the print mode yet. So you're the first to play on this with me. I played on the app, but I haven't sent it to print. So I'll show you how the role works and all of that. And if it doesn't work, just know it's my first day. Hopefully you won't fire me. Okay, so there's the design. Click on set. And then in here, I can change the colors if I want to. I really like these colors though. I can make it a little bigger if you wanna see it. A little bigger here. Um, I wonder, I never know what parts you can change and what you can't. So in my settings here on size, I wonder how big we can make it. So you know that's the density button and that's just a button that will just make it as large as you can. How big can we make this? Oh, now we have three by 3.7. Now when I click the density button, which is right here, let's see if it gets any bigger. Whoa. Seriously? Holy cow. That's like four by seven, eight by 5.28. I did not realize that. See, we're playing and learning together today. All right. I still kind of like, I think I like the three by three. Even a little bit smaller. I think that's going to be very cute. Click OK. And you'll look on your screen here. Anything that you is not like, see, that's faded, so you can't use it. Anything that's faded, you can't use. All right, now we could add the no-sew. Do you know how to use the no-sew button? We talk about it a lot, and I think some people don't even know what it is. So if I were to click on, say, the brown for the bears, if I click on no-sew, it takes that away. So there I would have just the outline. And then you can add it back in. It's a way, you know, all this time, I spend my time going through and just kind of guessing what colors maybe I don't want. Okay, maybe I don't want the outline. Get rid of that. Oh, that would look like a very weird bear. <laughs> so let's bring them back. Maybe you don't want the little filling part. It shows you what it looks like here, but instead of guessing, click the no so, and that would be fine because I could maybe have the little blue part coming through. All right, we're gonna leave that part out. Click okay. Now there's my design, super cute. Uh, if you want to change the colors, click here, change the colors. And let's see, I'm thinking we're going to turn it into an applique. So there's the applique button. It's a different color 
So that will remind me when it comes to the applique. And you can also change the distance around it. Yeah, that looks good. Click OK. And then I'm ready to embroider. So if I embroider this on top of my blue fabric, the applique will be blue around the edges. The tummies will be blue. I don't know. Will that be weird to have a blue tummy on a bear? I mean, the whole point is to have it to match, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go with it's fine. <laughs> but the whole thing is I ran out of that fabric. So that's how you transfer an embroidery design. Now let's play with the print side because this is going to be a lot of fun. All right, let me grab my bag because I have to take a picture of the fabric here. I have a little piece left. I wonder if we can take a picture. Well, this is that section I think the bear is going to look really cute. So just in your opinion, leave a comment right now while I'm grabbing the fabric. If I do a design that's this big, that's either an applique, which I can do an applique where you press it on, and it'll probably stay there. If I do that, what would you embroider the bears on? Would you use a solid color like this? Would you use a fish color? Or would you just use maybe uh, a white or something? I'm, leave your opinion because I'm going to embroider it right when we hang up today. All right, so let me go get my fabric because this is all I have left. And yes, I'm sure this was a licensed fabric. I'm not selling it. But after you see what I do with it, you're going to be amazed. So this is all I have left, this little itsy bitsy piece. So I need to choose on here what I want to take a photo of. So it looks like the pattern repeats. Like there's a big fish and then a school of fish above it. I think the sailfish are swarming. They're ready to eat the bait fish. So uh, that's usually when I catch them. <laughs> all right, let's head over and I'll show you how to do this. If you have, by the way, if you've ever been on the ocean, that is probably one of the coolest things ever when you're fishing for billfish because they will swarm schools of fish. Yeah, so much fun. Okay, so let me accidentally turn my phone off. So there's my bear. If I want to save it for later, I can. It's already at the machine. Click cancel. Looks like I have how much battery I've left. I haven't charged it yet. So it's brand new, guys. So bear with me on this one. Okay, let's go back. If you go through here, there's a lot of different things. You got projects, printing designs, cutting designs. I haven't hooked my scan and cut into this phone yet, so I can't do the scan and cut today, but I can do a lot of other things. And we're gonna focus on printing. So before I do that, well, I've already taken a photo of this, but all you have to do is grab your phone. Let me find my photo. <laughs> If anybody has an idea how to get the photo app to stick to your phone, let me know. I can't tell you what brand this is. I'm used to using the other. Okay. So I took a photo. Looks like my fish are upside down, but it really doesn't matter when you see what I do with this. Okay. Now go to the Art Spirit app. Okay, I'm gonna leave this down, bring you just a little closer and I'll stand here. Scroll over until you find printing designs. So if you have the print moda and you actually read the manual or opened, it has like a bunch of papers in there, there are a couple free items in there to do, uh, which is really cool. They've got some bags. Look at how cute these are. So it's full projects too. So you have all the list of projects, the step outs, all that. We're designing our own because this is the part that is absolutely crazy fun. In here, just for people who don't know, there are also banners. So if you're having a birthday party or something like that, here's the banner. There's some really cute ones in here. Oh, I should have done this. 
I could do this for our anniversary. It's our anniversary. I called our anniversary week. That's what the roses were for. Although wind dropped them off for all of you. All right, low battery. Don't go out on me. I've got a lot to do with the brother sewing family. Combinations. Okay. Frame, illustrations, labels, logos, photo, wall decor. You've got a lot. So let's go to fabric patterns. So when you click on one of these, you can create from there. And there is the pattern. You can change the directions of these. This one you can't really tell so much. You can rotate it. There it rotated a little bit. You can change the size. Why don't we make it just a letter size? You can add effects. As they're all loading. So if you like to play around with, I don't know, a couple of software programs on the computer, this is even easier and faster. All right, so I'm just gonna hit cancel because you saw that. Let me go home and let's go into my creations. If you look down here, do you see these? What does that look like? That is the fish where I changed the whole print for it. Yeah, you see that? It doesn't even look the same. It's like a kaleidoscope of the fish. So I took the photo. I'll show you the other one. Look at that. So by using the kaleidoscope, I can mash up this exact pattern, exact colors, and it will print that way. Is that amazing or what? All right, so let's go back here. There's the design that I took a photo of. There's the pattern. Now look at this one. And you can change it some more. Let's change the pattern a little bit more. How about this? Do you see all these different things? So this can print, you can basically print your own fabric, but you can print fabric from a photo. That's the part that's absolutely amazing to me. We'll go back to image. I'm going to start with this one. Done. And oh, yeah, here it is. Piece. Wait till you see this. I can pick a piece of my photo. So if you look really close on here, it took my entire photo. Like there's the big fish. And look what it does to the big fish. You cannot. I'll, they almost look like they're swimming around. Oh, I like that one. There's the big fish. Is this amazing or what? So I'm curious to know which color you're going to want me to print or which one. Sorry, there was a brightness there. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, now can you see better? I won't move. Actually, I'll put you here and I'll bring you closer. How's that? Then you won't see my entire skyline. So each one of these triangles creates an entirely different motif or pattern. I really like this one. Click done. There, that's what it looks like in a bigger scale. And I'll show you this on a bigger scale as well. I'll turn it sideways. How's that? Better? What are your thoughts on this? This is crazy. Crazy cool? Is that what you would call it? So when I was at Brother Experience in Austin, we were playing with this, and I thought, I wonder if it's really as cool as it looks. You know when you go to an event and everything looks amazing and it's so much fun to play with? Oh, that looks really nice. So for those of you that like quilting, you could take one photo of one of your fabrics and design all of your pieces, same colors, and right there you got four, eight, 12 different motifs. Print it on fabric and use that for your quilt. Now, as you know, I'm not a big quilter, but I love playing around with bags and garments. 
so if I have a garment that, okay, let's just made, say I made win a fishing shirt. <laughs> okay, you can do LOL in the comments now because I'm pretty sure that's pretty hilarious. Um, but if I made it, he'd wear it, maybe. <laughs> but I could take a photo of it and I could make a matching skirt. Now, would that be cheesy or what? But it would be awfully funny. So I'm just dying to see for all of you that know my husband, <laughs> especially if he's got some buddies in here. Do you ever see that happening? <laughs> Probably not, but you get the idea. So I'm taking one piece of fabric. I took a photo of it and it changes the whole entire print. Yeah, very cool. So this is all in the Artsphere app. Now I'm gonna send it to the printer, but I know some of you have bought the printer. In fact, I had a group here last week and Helen is gonna be so excited. She's on a vacation and she's like, I don't know how to get the paper into the printer. I haven't tried it yet. So let's do it. Do you have any questions before I go that far? <laughs> I agree, Robin, it's amazing. Uh, so I just took the photo and it shows up in Art Spira when you bring it up. So Julie, do you have Art Spira? Take a photo on your phone. First, I took a photo before I even went to Art Spira. I haven't even checked if you can take a photo in there. You probably can, but I took the photo first just because it was easier for me. Oh, Cindy, how many years have we been married? Uh, 21. 21 and we dated seven. So we're on our 29th anniversary this November for our first date. Yeah. Well, I think 29th anniversary for our first date, I should make him a shirt out of this <laughs> and tell him that now that we've jumped over the 29 year line that you got to wear it. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Any other last minute questions? And let's go to the, I have, how big is the fabric you printed out? I haven't printed it yet. So Darlene, we're going to hope it it prints. So it, there's a roll of paper in there and I'll show you how to load it. Oh, fun. Lois said Cindy did this with a family photo. Yeah, very cool. Okay, so let's head over. Uh, I've, I think I've got a camera over there. Let's go to print moto. Oh yeah, Cindy, our um, our fall colors are definitely coming right now. Okay, so for those of you that have not played with your print mode yet, it looks a little intimidating because it's a little bigger, but it's really not. So let me just give you a quick rundown. This is where your ink cartridges go. They're super easy to get in and out. <laughs> They're like, wait a minute, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's a touch screen, super easy. You turn it on. I set it up to Wi-Fi in about less than a minute, maybe three seconds. All right, so you have two different places to put your paper. So let's see, this is just my letter paper. So you can have paper and the roll. And then here's where the roll goes, right here. Let me bring you a little closer and I'll bring you down here. All right, switch to the other side here. And if camera decides to be blinky, it's not even Friday, but you'll know it. All right, so this slides out if you want it to, okay? This piece right here tells you, and it's in the directions as well. This side, if you're using paper, you see that? And then flip it back if you're using the roll. So you have to remember that. And by the way, it tells you right here, if you pay attention, there's, the icons for paper and there's the icon for a roll. And I know sometimes big printers can be a little intimidating. For those of you that have been watching me, you know I ripped apart my entire plotter, put it back together. It's working. That's called what you call the miracle for the month, but this is so simple to use. So here's the paper. I mean fabric, I should say. It comes in a roll. And if you feel it, this side is the shiny side up the fabric side down. Once you print, you'll take away this paper piece, but it has to be somewhat stiff to be able to print. So it tells me right on here, let's see if I can get you a little bit closer without knocking the camera over. How's that? All right, it tells you right here, 
And if you look at these images, it shows you which way to put your paper. Well, fabric, I should say. So we're going to slide this in. You know what? You won't be able to see it from there. So let me just show you. On here, right underneath here, that's where your fabric is going to roll. And it'll roll all the way through underneath. So I'll start to slide it. And since I don't have four hands, I'll bring it back out and show it to you. All right. So let's start the... I wonder if you can see it. I know. I'll take you over here. To the phone. To the app. You'll be able to see much better from there. Okay. Let's see if this is just a little bit. Did you guys vote, by the way? I need you to vote. While I'm showing you how to do the paper, I need your help. So I'll, I'll narrow it down. Um, sorry, guys. The phones are ringing all over the hook today. Oh, somebody's calling me to vote. Is that what's happening there? <laughs> okay, so here's the vote. Let's see. We'll start with number one. Number one looks like this. Oh, let me see. It's so awkward trying to get a phone to look at a phone. If you go to the right, okay, this is number one. That's number two. Are you watching? Because you got to vote and give me the number. That's number three. Number four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm not going to tell you which one's my favorite, but I do want to look at this one closer. This is number 11. And when I bring that closer, you can actually see parts of the fish. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Okay, I'll leave that out while you're voting. So while you're voting, bring this back out and show you how to load this paper. Yeah, much better view, right? So it's not paper, it's fabric, I'm sorry. So this is the fabric side, there's the shiny side. You'll slide it right in here, and you'll see the fabric will go right underneath that section there. So let me get it started, and then I'll lift it up for you to see. So do you see what's happening? The fabric went under that area and it's coming out here. And you just keep rolling it. You want to make sure. So see what happens. Mine's a little bit too far to the right, too far to the left. You want to make sure that it's even everywhere. All the way to the end. And then you use this section here to push in levers to make sure that the paper, you don't want it squished like that. That doesn't work. You want it to just make sure it's nice and tight against your fabric. Look pretty good. All right. I wonder if it tells you where you should stop it. Uh, nope, but I guess I'll figure that out. I would assume it just goes to the end right here, just like regular paper. But trust me, if it goes further, it'll tell me. So let's go put this back into the plotter. And uh, are you guys voting on what? I only see a couple, three. Oh, there's, I'm looking and I was like, I don't see anybody. There's a whole list of numbers. <laughs> hey, brother, uh, sewing social team. You're going to have to tell me what number is the most popular. While I go to put this back in the printer, you let me know what number I should print. Or else it's going to be like an any, mini, miny, mo. Okay, so back to the printer. 
I don't know if you looked at the top of the printer, but printers are not very pretty. And I give brother an A plus because I always have to have cute things in my sewing room, like my sewing mat. This is really cute. It looks like a very polished printer. <laughs> Classy? <laughs> is that what you call it? Okay. And then this just slides right in. All right. So on the screen, see if I can bring you a little bit closer. If not, you'll just have to trust me on this. I think this will go down so you can see it better. There you go, better? Hey, they even made the printer where I can have a different angle so you don't end up with my ceiling glaring you. All right, so on settings, here are different things you can change. I was looking for the paper. No. Oh, by the way, you can send things here from the web, USB, download software, uh, print head cleaning. We're not going to do that today. <laughs> there's the Wi-Fi button. There's my ink. I wonder what secure print is. Uh, nothing that I have set up so far. All right, so let me just close this again. And then there my paper setting comes up. I'm sure there's a way to get to that quickly, but so for my paper, I have in here, you have fabric or paper? I have fabric. What's my size? It's a roll, 11.69 inches for fabric. It's telling you, make sure there's no paper in there. It even reminds you, flip this back. <laughs> and it shows you, start the fabric roll, roll it all the way to the end. Make sure the end of the fabric touches the edge of the tray. Hey, that was a good guess on my part, by the way. I mean, I just assumed it'd be like a regular printer, and it is. Adjust the paper with the guides, which we did. Those were those side things. That's what they're called, our guides. When printing the fabric roll, close the paper support. Oh, that must be back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that this thing? Oh, yeah. You can't see it. It's way back in the back. Okay, we're good. Confirm. And then okay. Well, did you vote? Now this also has an automatic cut on it, a cutter. So if you're only cutting a small piece of fabric, which I'm just going to do a little uh, coin bag, so I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot of fabric for this. So I'm just going to make it quite small. All right, what do you got for me? Fran, what, how are the ink cartridges? Third, did you see them when I opened them? They're just like regular ink cartridges. They're actually a little bigger. They're not like, um, let's see, what can I compare it to? There, there's four different, there's four different ones. So it's not just like a black and then a color one. That would use way too much ink. So there's four different ones that you put in there. Easy to get in, easy to get out. So yeah, I like that as well. But they are actual cartridges. I'll open it after I print and show it to you again. But it's right in the front on the front right as I'm looking at it right now. Hey, Judy. <laughs> so it's not an inkwell, it's it's cartridges, which I prefer because in I do a ton of printing here with my patterns, uh, with booklets, things like that. I have, uh, <laughs> I was going to say other brother printers here, but they're basically commercial ones because they I print a ton and a ton and a ton. So this is kind of nice because they're smaller ink cartridges, but they're a decent size and they're separate. So I have one big pet peeve, and that is where you have one cartridge that's black and one that's color because my color always runs out. And it's usually only one color that runs out, and I still got to buy the whole thing. Okay, J Jackie, is it number three? Was number three the winner? <laughs> oh, Fran. So if your husband replaces his printer with this, 
then you can print fabric. Yeah, because you can print paper with it. Oh, a patchwork bag. Oh, Robin, you're really trying to get me out of my comfort zone. <laughs> uh, Terry, can you use rolls of paper to print continuous pattern pieces for a garment? Uh, oh, rolls of fabric? You could. Now, I have not used this on anything for garments yet because it's a print. So I haven't, it's not, like, Brother recommends that you don't use it for garments. Full disclosure. So you know on my page, I'm going to be messing with some things. <laughs> but it's not, like, officially Brothers. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Because you know I, I dye a lot of fabrics. So I'm going to test some of the chemicals I use to secure that dye in the fabric to make sure it doesn't brush off. That's all. Lois says, choose the one where the fish shows up the best. Hmm. I'm guessing it would be, you guys voted, what did you vote was your favorite? Three? Huh. Phyllis, I haven't tested it yet. So rumor has it that you're not supposed to use it for garments because it can rub off. But that's a statement from brother. So I will let you know because I'm going to play with that. I don't know. This one almost makes them look like sharks. I like that one. <laughs> Send him our way, Fran. That's what. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, let's just go pick one. I think it was. Jackie says number three was the most popular on the votes from Facebook, YouTube. Looks like there's a lot of threes and a lot of fours. Maggie says 11. Any of them's good, Darlene says. All right, we'll flip a coin. Let's go back over to the phone and let's see if I can get this to work because I have not tried it. This is officially the first print, okay? So if it doesn't work, it could be that my phone isn't hooked up to Wi-Fi correctly. It could be uh, that I don't know what I'm doing yet. Oh, you never know, all the above. That's why I love Brother, because they, they let you play around, and uh, it's pretty hard to screw up. But you never know. All right, so I better do this before my battery runs out. One, two. You guys said three was the best? Let's see if that one shows the fish. Oh, that one has, like, kind of like a sword-like thing. That's kind of cool. Okay, I, let me just go back. I like that. That's cool. What size you want it? You can also, by the way, change the size like this. To, oh, did I mention that? <laughs> now do you understand why I sat here for like hours and played with this? Oh yeah, this is the size button. Look at that. I'm gonna do it again before my battery runs out. Do you see what's happening there? Can I? Okay. If you think this is cool and you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, be sure to click the like button. That one, like button. Because I would love to see how many likes we get on this. You can hit the love button if you're on uh, Facebook. Not love boat, love button. Because this is the coolest thing ever. I mean, look at this. That doesn't even look like the same thing we just played with. I think I like it right there. Done make it bigger. Oh, look at that. So my sailfish point is right there. How cool is that? And then this looks like a little ball of sailfish. And then we've got fish all the way around the edges. How does it even know? So how does this piece even compare to this piece? Really? Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So I'm just going to let you know tomorrow is I was going to take the day off and, uh, I was working on a couple new patterns. I might have to squirrel just for a little bit and play with this because this is so much fun. So let's save this before my battery goes out. Save as. I'm going to call this Brother Fans because you picked it. Save. All right. It's saved. All right, let's go back in here. Now I got to remember how to get it to print. I did try this earlier, but I never printed. So there's the brother fans. Um, 
go cancel. Um, I can't read your comments as I'm doing this. Somebody would be telling me how to send this to print. Frame, illustrations, labels, logos. I'm learning as I go. How about brother fans? I already saved it. Oh, goodness. I can't remember how to get it to go to print. <laughs> New, maybe? Print patterns. Let's go to, I'm going to do, um, how about a custom size? Why don't we go 11 inches by, I don't think I want to go 36. That's too long. Um, printing. Now you can understand why I sat here for hours, but I never hit print. So now I got to remember how to do this. <laughs> There's that. We already did that. Cancel. Uh, why don't we go an A4 page? Okay, that's a little bit smaller. Oh, by the way, this is a whole nother way to do this if you wanted to print that exact thing. I'm going to my patterns because I saved this. There's the brother fans. Click done. And done. There we go. Ha, it was the adding the new design. I'm going to have to watch this back to figure out how to get there again. <laughs> so it shows me my printer's already hooked up. I did that. And let's click print and see what happens. Please check the fabric installation before printing. I did. And let's click OK. Oh my gosh, I hear something. I hear something. That's a good thing, I think. I'm here. I hear it. It says, <laughs> unless I put something in wrong, which I'm sure it will tell me, I did that. Hmm. Okay. It's printing slowly. It says it's cleaning. <laughs> Knowing a live show, you know, can you guess what should happen during a live show? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. What's going to happen is it'll say it needs an update and it will update for about 20 minutes. That's what should happen during a live show. So I hear it. It's printing. It's doing something. I'm dying to see this. But did you see how many different options you have in there? You can bring a photo in. You can add a geometrical shape to it. I mean, I think I could come up with probably. I don't know, a hundred different designs from that one sailfish. So that's what I was mentioning for those that like to do piecework, stuff like that. Oh my gosh, would be amazing. I hear, do you hear it? What's it doing? <laughs> All right, let me see if you have any questions while it's printing. Oh, you're right. I liked them all, Angie. They were all awesome. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week, too. So, by the way, while we're waiting for it to print, ask your questions. I'll help if I can. And also, I hear something. It is addicting. <laughs> Eileen, I would never get anything done. What did I do? I, I put something wrong. Let me go back. <laughs> uh, while I'm checking this, by the way, next week, uh, Tuesday's live show is pre-recorded with May. She's got a great crafting project for you. And what did I do? Fabric. Did I put it in wrong? Maybe I did. Okay, let me see. I don't think I did, but you never know. I'll try it again. Now, I literally just took this out of the box. So if for some reason it qu it's not working correctly, I will, uh... oh, huh. 
I didn't open the back for the fabric to come out. Hello. All right, so I got that. I got that back in. Cut the paper. It should be straight now. I screwed that up. Okay. There we go. Let's see. I'm going to stay here this time and see if it comes out. I don't know which one. I think it would come out the bottom if I put it in right. Close the back cover. Um, did I have the wrong one open? Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is where I have to read the directions. <laughs> I got it as far as I got to figure out which paper thing to close. I'll get it figured out, and I will send a photo. I know. It is exciting. <laughs> the fabric comes out the back, Julie. Yeah, it comes out the back. Oh, no. Karina, that's not good. That's not good. It comes out the front. Oh, maybe that's why I have to close the back. Okay, Patty. <laughs> You guys, this is why I have you. I got the hard spirit to work. All right, let's go back over. Let me let me make sure I close those back doors. I left them open. That's probably why it says close the back door. Hmm? You think? Um, let's see. Close the back door. Patty, what would I do without you? And click the X. All right, so this came out just a little bit. Let me fix this to the end again. Bring it in. Oh, right here? Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I'll read the manual for how where it comes out. But in the meantime, at least we uh, I showed you what it does because our hour is almost up. <laughs> Cindy, it is a little heavy. Wind helped me put it up there and it's gonna stay there forever. <laughs> you guys are great. Okay, so a couple of things. Next week, the live show, uh, the one on Tuesday is pre-recorded with May because I have a group here in my studio playing on all the fabulous brother machines. We're making a jacket. And I, at this point, I do not believe there's a show on Thursday. So you'll have to just stay tuned on Brothers YouTube and Facebook page. And you'll see, you'll see the notification. So uh, that way you can save it. Now, the week after, shows will resume on Tuesday at noon. So Tuesday at noon, May will be on showing crafting. <laughs> Zena, oh, well, I'm always nervous about using printers online because you saw what happened to my plotter last week. I've got like this, uh, I don't know, <laughs> kind of like the pouring rain that I ended up with. <laughs> play first, then read. I'm with you, Julie. High five on that. So the big moral of the story is, are you going to play with the Art Sphere app? Because that was so much fun. Oh my gosh. So what does it say? Um, it's complete. I'm going to send it again now that I fixed the printer. And then if I didn't do it right this time, I'll read the manual to figure out where it goes because i could easily screw that up easily although i hear something do you think i don't know i don't hear it cutting <laughs> yeah i'm gonna read the manual well let me see did anything print out the front Oh, well, hey, all of you are amazing. You tell me to open the front cover. I open the front cover. Oh my gosh, this is why the brother family is awesome. But remove the printed paper, then press OK. So did it cut? Oh my gosh. You are witnesses to, uh, I didn't even have to read the manual because I have the brother fans here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. 
totally redeem myself <laughs> because of you. Let's go back. <laughs> you can all give yourself a huge applause. Each one of you, you witnessed it. I printed my first piece of fishing fabric. Look at that. So I'm going to go back over here. <laughs> I know. I was like doing the happy dance. This is like when you kind of go, oh, does this have to happen when we're live? Like, who doesn't know how to use a printer? <laughs> well, <laughs> I guess you just never know. <laughs> All right, let's go see what this looks like. So there's the app. And I could color collaborate this a little bit because it's a little bit darker. But let's see what it looks like when we pull the back off. So uh, my friend Jennifer said to press this fabric and it'll help to secure some of that dye in there. But I have a little trick I'm going to try. And if it works, I'll let you all know on my own page. So you pull back this peeling right here. See this? Because this is all, it's not even sticky. Didn't you think that was going to be sticky under there? I don't know why I thought it was going to be sticky, but. And now there's my fabric. I love it. I love it. So what I think I want to do is I'm going to make sure, I'm sure I can cal calibrate my colors a little bit, which I'll do. But look at how nice. There's a fishing fabric, all itsy bitsy fishies. See those? You guys have good taste. Very good taste. <laughs> Jody says, I now need to use that on the bag. <laughs> well, I'll save it for you next week, Jody. If you get bored while you're sewing your jacket, you can sew my little uh, coin purse. <laughs> yeah, I just touched it. I don't have anything on me. Yeah, it dried. The carrier sheet, it was not sticky when I pulled it off. It Yes, the carrier sheet was sticky, but I figured, didn't you think some of that was going to stick on the fabric? It didn't. So <laughs> Cindy Wynn gets a new shirt. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but I should, because it's almost the perfect size to make kind of a cute envelope. Uh, I wrote him a cute little letter for our anniversary, and I'll put it in that. That'll be like his anniversary card. Yeah, it's awesome. All right, guys. So that hour is up, but I told you it would be fun. Was Now, I have one job for you before I see you again, which I'll see you officially live in two weeks, but download that Artsphere app and play around with this. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah. And uh, in the meantime, I guess I have to go back and find, I like those bears with the fish, so I'll embroider my applique and stick that on my bag. Perfect. Yes. Awesomeness. <laughs> so everyone, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I'm going to be playing around with this. I'm working on some new patterns. And next week I got a group coming and we're sewing jackets on the fabulous Brother Machines. But I have a feeling that they're going to be playing with the printer here. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking so. Well, until next time, happy sewing. And don't forget to use hashtag Brother Sews, hashtag Brother Scan and Cut. And I just saw somebody asking, where do I find all the replays? Uh, here, I'll bring this up for you. First of all, if you want to find a ton of awesome projects, go to brothersews.com, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see the Brother Sewing blog and the Stitching Social blog. Both of those have a ton of projects. Projects, okay? Now, if you want to watch the replays for the grocery bag, go to Brother Sews Facebook or YouTube channel. Click on live if you go to YouTube. You have to click on live. Otherwise, it just looks like some other videos. So look at the top, click on live. You can watch all the replays or go to AngelaWolf.com and I've dropped them all there for you so you can watch. All right? Everyone have a fabulous weekend. If you need anything, you know where to find me. In the meantime, happy sewing. And brother, thanks for letting us take over your page. This is fantastic. Bye, everyone. <laughs>